the moment, uh, fear and uncertainty is, is swelling, uh, not just within the defence community, but within um, Australian society and then around the world. Um, we are in a, an unprecedented time. I know that word's been used a lot, but it's, it's true. And in terms of the footing that we are currently on within the Defence Force and within Navy, it's very much an operational footing. Um, it, they're, they're not necessarily an operation that everyone's tasked to or a deployment that everyone's gone away on, but just some of the topics that were just being discussed by both Major General Fox and, and Rear Admiral Hammond uh, about MWDU and people being separated from their loved ones right now, it, it's like we're on a deployment in so many different ways. And, and so with that, um, I, I'd encourage if it helps people, those, those are more experienced hands out there, um, flick a switch in your head that says, oh, okay, I'm on deployment now. Uh, my member's on deployment, I need to, to act as such uh, and, and establish routines in my life that are going to help me to get through this. Um, I think with all areas of our life, um, there's kind of, there's uh, all decisions, everything we do in our life can be put into three different distinct zones. There's a bunch of things in our life that we are in control of and that we should be in control of. Um, but then there's a bunch of things in our life that we can't control, but we might be able to influence and, and we can influence uh, things in, in that sphere. So, for example, uh, I can control my behaviour and, and how I might act uh, to my wife and to my children. But as much as I would love to, I can't control my, my children's behaviour. Uh, I can influence it and, and I can have an effect upon them and hopefully it's a positive one, uh, a positive, not a negative influence, but I can't control it. And then there's a third zone. So there's control and then influence. And then there's a third zone that we, off, we can operate in. And it's the zone that people like the least. Uh, and that's what the zone I like to call ELSA. Uh, the ELSA zone, uh, which is a reference to the, the movie Frozen. The zone where we have to let it go, where we can't control and we can't influence. And we just have to recognise that it's beyond our control. And generally speaking, when people are scared, it's because there is uncertainty. It's because there's a sense that things are out of control. So if it helps people, what I'd encourage you to do is list out the things that are stressing you in your life. Literally just write down a list. And then write three columns next to it, control, influence, and ELSA. And then put those things into the different columns. Work out the things that you are in control of and that you can do something about it. Um, write down the things that I can't control but I can influence and, and what that might be. And then the rest, put in the ELSA column and say, you know what, I just have to let it go, um, which is easier said than done, of course. Um, but it can be really helpful to give you then the things that you do need to focus on, that control and influence, um, influence column. The other thing I would say, uh, as I was mentioning about um, being on an operational footing, one of the things that every single person in uniform who has been on operations will be able to tell you is that plans change at very short notice. And on my ship, uh, we had a bit of a, a saying that I, I like to, to get around the ship uh, as I would tread the deck plates. And that is uh, to remain floppy because flexible is too rigid. And uh, at this particular time uh, in our lives and in society and in the Navy, in the Defence Force, um, we need ultimate floppiness. <laughs> um, flexibility is way too rigid for us at the moment. And so I'd encourage people to be as floppy as you can uh, within uh, your sphere of influence. And connected to that, I, I would say if, if that's a struggle for you, then, then reach out. Reach out to the support services that are available to you. Reach out to your neighbours. Reach out to your extended family. Um, reach out to, to fellow service partners. Um, reach out to the support services that we've spoken about tonight, like DCO or to, to Defence Families Australia. Um, reach out to, to chaplains. Um, you know, we are the only uniform members in the Defence Force that in, included inherent in our remit is that we don't just serve uniform members, but we serve their families as well. Um, so I provide as much service uh, to a family member as I do to someone who wears a uniform. And so you can call 1-800-DEFENSE uh, and put yourself in contact with the local chaplain in your area who can, at the moment, can't come and do a home visit, but they'll at least be able to talk to you over the phone and be a listening ear and provide referral or advice. Um, uh, you know, a term that's been used in our society at the moment a lot is social distancing. Um, I don't like that term. I actually think physical distancing is a better term because right now we need to be more socially connected than ever before. We need to be physically distant, but socially connected. And so I'd very much encourage people out there to, to be socially connected, reach out to people, uh, connect with people, 
um, particularly if you are scared, particularly if you are uncertain, um, particularly if you've got a lot in your ELSA column and not much in your control column, uh, reach out and get some help and get support. Uh, we're all in this together.